rocking out to me is when you become this channel for the music. Who you are doesn't matter anymore. Like everything you think doesn't matter anymore. You basically become a mouthpiece for the music and the most incredible moment of rocking out at any point is when you look out into the audience you can see that everyone has come together and worked to channel this energy and this music into something that's living. My name is Kalula and I have always been a drummer. It's something that I feel like I was born to do. It was one of those things that I never gave up. I, I always stuck with it and always felt right. My lifestyle is kind of a blend of musician and student because I am a student, I'm studying. And it was actually through studying that I got into the music lifestyle in Grahamstown. One of our old friends came to one of my jazz concerts and she saw me playing in the back, you know, just some simple and she said, cool, the drummer. And then a couple of weeks later, she actually messaged me and she said, hey dude, putting together a band or this band needs a drummer, would you be keen to join? I was like, yeah, why not? You know, I've never been in this kind of band before, keen to join. So through that, through a jazz concert, I kind of got to know this performance space as well as all the people who perform here. And then I even started bartending here. So this place is really, really central to my lifestyle, how I live, the friends that I have, and the work that I do. So the members of The Lost Lovers are me and my girlfriend, Roxy. And then, because we're only a two-piece, when we perform, we usually ask our friends to help us out a little bit with filling out the music. So our friends that play with us a lot are James Maffey and Alex Collette on guitar and bass, respectively. And then Roxy plays the guitar and sings, and I play the drums. So the name actually came about from the other member of the band, Roxy Lincoln. She saw all those posters up in everywhere in South Africa. The ones that say like penis enlargement, free abortion, um, lost lovers, all that kind of thing. And she was like, well, that would be such a cool band name, you know, free advertising all the time. And then another really cool little layer to the name is Roxy and I are dating. So it's cute to have a little applicable name for the band that we're both in. My journey with music has been extensive and humbling. Um, I started playing music and learning music when I was really, really small. I learned piano and music theory from the get-go, and then I branched out and played other instruments. I've played in orchestras, I've played in bands. I've got a degree in classical music theory and analysis, but also in jazz drumming. So I know a lot about music, and the one thing that you learn when you learn about all this music is just how much you don't know. Music to me, it's everything. Um, it's, it's cathartic in more ways than just like a negative catharsis because I mean it definitely does help in that way like you've had a bad day, you're frustrated, you go and you can just play music and it gets all of that pent up energy out but then there's also this really really beautiful cathartic aspect of it where it's this release of pure joy and pure happiness and you can sit down and as long as you're playing like music with a good vibe and with people with a good vibe it's, it's really important in releasing those happy emotions in me. I think the instrument that best describes me is the drum kit. I think it's one of those things like people eventually looking like their dogs. I think you gravitate towards the instruments that reflect who you are the most. Um, I like the versatility that comes with the drum kit because on one hand it's super, super stable. Like if you don't have that solid beat keeping the music together then everything falls apart. But then again, because of all the options you have infinite varieties of cymbals, infinite varieties of drums and tools that you can use to hit the drums and that kind of variety is something that I like to think I show in myself. So rock music generally gets a bad rap. It's seen as loud, as angry, as aggressive, and it's not true. It's, it's a way of people expressing themselves. It's people taking, yes, the pent-up aggression and getting rid of it, but also the fun things and expressing the fun things. 